Do you want to start catching fish on crankbaits but don't know where to start? We're going to talk about that. Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Fish Talk. Hello and happy Friday. I've got coffee in this mug and 5 minutes on this time of year and you know what that means. Boop. It's time to get real. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Chris for this topic suggestion. If you ever have a suggestion for a topic, just drop them in the comments below. And if I have knowledge on that topic, I'll go ahead and make a video on it. Here's the deal. I've just got a whole pile of crankbaits. I got five whole boxes of them. I used to throw them a lot more. If you've watched my videos, you obviously see that I don't throw a lot of crankbaits these days. And it really speaks to what area I'm fishing. But it's not about me today. Today's video is really about what all types of crankbaits there are, where should you fish them, how should you fish them, what gear should you use, and then at the end of this video, hopefully you have a little bit more confidence, go out there and bust on some bass. Okay, so let's talk about what a crankbait is. Here's a crankbait, right? Pretty small, it's got a little lip. So what this lip allows it to do is dive down, and then it also causes it to vibrate. Now, this one's a pretty short lip, so that means that it's gonna dive pretty shallow, whereas this one, it's got a bigger lip, and so that's gonna make it dive deeper. And then on top of that, they're both going to wobble, right? The next thing that you're going to see is some baits have a little square bill as compared to a round bill. The difference here is that this square bill is going to deflect off of certain types of bigger cover better. So stuff like a stump or a big chunk rock, this is going to deflect off of it very well, whereas that round bill is going to allow it to grind on the bottom just a little bit better. Stuff like pea gravel and smaller rocks, this is probably going to deflect off of it a little bit better. But this, again, in a stump field, something like a square bill, as you can see, that thing's really beat up. That's because it's been fished around a lot of hard cover. So those are some of the basic types. I'm not gonna go into super big detail here, but really you choose your crankbait based on the depth and the type of cover you're going to be fishing. If you're gonna be fishing a lot of hard cover and it's really gonna be shallow, a square bill is probably the one for you. If you're gonna be fishing deeper and you're gonna be fishing more on just hard bottoms and rock and clay, a normal round bill will work for you. The other things you're going to see is that they're going to vary in shapes and colors, and obviously that's going to be the case with any types of baits, but with a crankbait, something that's going to be more narrow, um, that's going to just have a little bit tighter wobble, and it's actually going to work better in colder water. That's another topic for another day, but just, be, just know this, they are going to vary in shapes, and what that's going to cause is a different wobble and a different amount of vibration. Here's the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is this. Crankbaits in general are not exactly the most natural thing in the water, right? And so for me, if I'm just trying to gain confidence in it, I'm not saying they won't work well in clear water. I'm saying if I'm trying to gain confidence in a crankbait, I'm going to fish them in lower light conditions. Whether that be a little bit more stained water, or a, a windy day to where it's kind of making a little bit of turbulence in the water, or even just a cloudy day. If you do that, the fish probably won't be able to see the bait as well, and so that way, when you throw a crankbait, you're probably gonna maximize your chances of catching some fish, and that way you can gain a little bit of confidence. Again, this is for beginners. I'm not saying it won't work well in clear water. I'm saying that those are gonna be the best conditions to learn it. So, the next thing is this. If you can gain some confidence, you're going to absolutely take this thing to the next level. My personal best bass is on a crankbait. I did not ever expect that because it's one of my least confident baits. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not confident in these. I'm saying that I feel a lot more comfortable with a plastic in my hand. It's just how I fish. But crankbaits catch big fish, and all you have to do is keep fishing them. And once you start to catch fish, you're going to start gaining that confidence. It can be a really intimidating bait to fish, not only because there's thousands of choices, but because it might take you quite a long time before you start to catch fish on it. So stick with it. Okay, regarding equipment, what do you want to use on these? It can vary so much. What I'm going to tell you is this. If you're fishing shallower water, you can use higher speed gear ratio reels. You can use the seven one to ones. So anything less than 10, 10 feet of water, use that. And then just really ram it off of, you know, types of cover and just really focus on hitting the cover and fishing the structure hard, and I personally like to fish them fast and aggressively. The next thing is, if you're fishing 10, 20, or 30 feet of water, you probably want to gear down because your equipment's going to just, you're going to work it really, really hard. And so something like a 5, 3 to 1, or a 6, 1 to 1 is probably going to work a little bit better in those deeper depths. Now aside from that, with regards to a rod, a deeper crankbait, you probably want to fish on a longer rod, more of a glass rod potentially, whereas a shallow crankbait, I like some of the seven foot medium action rods, and that works pretty well as well. I'm not going to go big time into the equipment. I would just say throw them all on fluorocarbon and find a rod that feels comfortable with it. Don't go too heavy, but don't go super, super light. Uh, you just have to make sure that you bury those trebles in them. 
regardless. I know there's just so much information on crankbaits and what I'm going to tell you is I've got 10 seconds left and I don't want this buzzer to blast my ears. So if you have further questions, just drop those in the comments below. I know that I didn't get everything done today, but hopefully at the bare minimum, when you go to the store next time, you can at least kind of know which one you want to pick up. And that way, when you go to the lake, you feel a little bit more confident out there. Really, it comes down to this. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, I'll stop yapping. You know what I'm going to say next, right? Have yourself a fantastic weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next time.